we got the awful phone call that she'd been damaged in a storm and the jelly post had gone through a hole and she was on the bottom of the lake under me. The restoration in 2004, it was, yeah, it was, di it was difficult because we needed to keep the integrity of the boat. Um, there was a lot of a very original, um, um, good structure um, that had been looked after and it, it, it was very difficult, but she needed, she needed a new hull. So, so we had to strip her, every part of her, um, to a point that there was, there was no, no, no longer a boat. Um, and then we set the keel line um, straightened up the keel line just here in this workshop and then went from that. Uh, maintenance on any steamboat is really difficult, um, labour really labour intensive. Um, um, if it's all bright work like souvenir is and um, painted holes, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it takes a, it takes a lot, of, um, lot of hard graft and, and a lot of money. I got into boat building and my father was a shipwright. Um, we brought up an old topsail schooner he rebuilt with our help. Um, when, when we were up in Whitehaven when we were kids, so it was yeah. I got into the I got into the boats at an early age, and it's yeah. It's, uh, I served my apprenticeship when I was 14, 15, and um, here I am now. One of my favourite things about souvenir, and I've said this to so many people, is the amount she gets used. She's, ever since we ever since we met the Hearts, she has to be the she, out of all of our boats the most used by by a mile. And for a boat build, for a boat builder to put all that effort into into a restoration or rebuild, to see it be used by all generations, weekly, daily, sometimes, all season, is absolutely fantastic. My favourite memories uh, straight away, I think about picnicking on the boat. Um, we always, you know, quiche and salad and a nice glass of Prosecco or beer um, or water and things like that sometimes. But uh, we go out in the evenings and in the afternoon and always picnic on it. And then the kids perhaps, as they've even grown older, will still jump off the boat into the lake. And you just feel like it's, it's kind of a really nice family time because we can be together um, and there's no other distractions except the beautiful lake. I love um, the peace and quiet of it. Um, you just feel as though you're so close to nature because the animals on the lake, the swans and the ducks and I don't know, everything, they all, they all want to be with you so you, you, the peace is just really quite special and you, and you feel when, when you're on the steamboat you feel as though all your worries or anything that's on your mind just goes away because you just have this amazing feeling of, I don't know, a feeling of peace I think. You get to see the lake from such a different way. I, I've uh, been on the lake on uh, boat trips and things which is obviously very special as well but just being in the steamboat just feels really close to to um, where, where you want to be and um, I think some other days We'll perhaps uh, more up at maybe a nice hotel and go in and have a coffee and things like that we never perhaps would do. So we get to see other be like beautiful gardens and beautiful places to visit with the opportunity of being able to moor up outside. So you do feel a little bit special. Um, a lot of people admire the boat um, because she is very special and that makes you feel, makes you feel proud. Of, um, of something that my father did, the, the journey he took to, to get the boat on the lake. This boat was built by uh, Burgoynes on the Thames, 1901. It's the original engine, although one time at all it did have a diesel engine in, but uh, a guy put it, built it up and put it back with the original engine and built a new boiler for it. The boiler was built about 1980. Uh, it's a water tube boiler, 
But it's oil fired, it uses uh, diesel oil with a you've got a pressure atomizing burner which is the same as a central heating burner. Uh, it's a two cylinder compound engine, about 20 horsepower, condensing and uh, it works very nicely for say it's 118 years old. We spend a lot of time in the lakes as a family um, and souvenirs has become a, a large part of that, whether it's out on the lake with a sailing it, whether it's in the winter getting a service for the next year and getting jobs done. She occupies a lot of our, our time. Um, it's enjoyable, um, she's part of the family I guess, <laughs> a troublesome part of the family but a nice part of the family. Um, she she gets lifted on and off every year. The the lake she's on Windermere it does it does move. The height of the lake isn't isn't stable all year. So it can come up and down about two and a half three meters annually. So you've got to be careful. And um, she's been sunk a couple of times because we've not managed to get to her when she's been sat in a boat house. The lake's come up and and squashed her, um, which is devastating and mega expensive. The um, the weekends we do have with her, you know, we do try and get out on her as a family, get her used, park up, have picnics on her, go to different places around the lake, spend time together. When you're on her, it forces you to to stay there. It forces you to have a chat as a family. You're not you're not rushing. <laughs> when you're on, you're on. <laughs> you're kind of locked in, but that's enjoyable. We love it. Um, yeah, she'll always be part of our family, I guess. She's become part of what, what we are and what we do. Steamboat to me means something very special that came into our lives, my husband and I, and has included all our family for so many wonderful times on it and the memories that I have, all the joy and pleasure we've had on it fun on it, sometimes some dramas when we've broken down, other times when it's been quite tricky, when I've had to tie the ropes up and things, which has been a challenge for me, but with just so many happy memories. <laughs>